I'm gonna start with, I'm very sorry to anybody who's taken offense, to anybody who's, to anybody who's who I've hurt, who I've hurt. Doja Cat took to Instagram Live Monday morning in a lengthy video addressing the claims made against her that sparked the hashtag Doja Cat is over party on Twitter. So I'm just gonna, one, debunk everything. I have bullet points here. The hashtag emerged after the rapper was accused of participating in racist video chats. She was also called out for a song she wrote in 2015 titled Didn't Do Nothing, which is a racist slur mocking victims of police brutality. That song is in zero ways, in no way connected to police brutality or Sandra Bland. And to see something like that to see a song my song that i made connected to an innocent black woman's death is one of the most awful rumors that i've ever encountered the 24 year old went on to give her explanation behind the song the term that i used in the song uh is one that i learned that day so people were calling me at left and right, left and right, and I used it in a song. And it was to kind of take back and, and f***ing just say f*** you to those people. The song, however, I agree, the worst, maybe the worst song in the entire world. The Say So rapper also addressed accusations that she participated in a white supremacist chat room. I learned, you know, that there are racist people who come in and out of the chat. They're, they're there. They, they happen and then they're banned. The, the, the idea that this chat room is a white supremacist chat room is... I don't fully, I don't understand it in any way. Late Sunday night, Doja posted a written statement on social media, addressing the chat room videos that have surfaced as well as the song. During her live video, she had this to say about that apology. The apology that I posted is absolutely an edited piece from me and the people I work with. Um, like any business, like any conglomerate, there would be many people trying to protect what's going on. The singer played snippets of all of the apologies she compiled before deciding to go live. I understand. One thing, when I get, hi guys, what's up guys? Admitting to filming 98 videos in total. There is no better apology than me doing what I've always done, being on live, telling you guys my truth, and being completely honest. It's a hard time right now, but recording myself apologizing and recording myself sounding perfectly diplomatic is the biggest lie I can make to you. Doja ended the 30 minute video with this message to her fans. I really am so, so, so grateful. I, I, there's no word for, for me to describe how much I love you guys. And I really do. I, I'm so sorry if I hurt you guys and disappointed and offended anybody on Twitter, Instagram, if you're a true fan of me, if you're young, all of my young fans, you know, people who look up to me, you know, my behavior isn't something that always needs to be followed. I'm not perfect. And, but then at the end of the day, I shouldn't be doing dumb shit. But also I need to stand up for myself.